Yirashimase! Hello and welcome to Fataris' Kitchen. I'm your host, Chef Fataris. Today, I'll be going to discuss you my gaming menu for this week, and also asking you about yours. So, the biggest part portion of my gaming menu this week is Hatsune Miku Project Mirai DX for the 3DS. So this was a title that was originally supposed to go and come out in May, but Sega went and delayed it till September for reasons? I honestly don't know why, but it finally, finally went and released this week and I was finally able to get my hands on it. It's basically a similar rhythm game to the Hatsune Miku Project Diva series, but take the, uh, the cuteness in that and go and crank it up to 9000 and then you might have an idea of kind of what you're going and dealing with this one. Um, it actually is based on Good Smile Companies, the Nendoroids. I've got a couple behind me so you can kind of go and see. They're just um, really cute SD figures of various anime or video game goods or characters rather and um, in this case with uh, the Project Mirai series they actually went and took those and made it the general art design for the game itself so if you're a fan of Hatsune Miku games I highly recommend this one it's so much fun it's so cute I love it other than that, another title that I've really been going and looking forward to over the last couple weeks, especially since the, the ID at Xbox pre-packs party came out uh, today, September 9th, is... Lovers in a Dangerous Space Time. It's one that's good name is kind of easy to go and mispronounce or get confused with other stuff, but this is a great shoot 'em up co-op title. Uh, basically, the idea is you're, you and your co-op partner are going and trying to rescue and put together this, like, uh, rescue all these space bunnies and put together this love machine and You've got all these different stations in a ship that you're going and trying to man, but there's only two of you. So you've got like four guns, a shield, a radar, uh, like a big, like a uh, nuke cannon, as it were, and uh, the engines. And you're trying to go and manage all of these with just the two of you. It goes and gets frantic. It's like so much fun. I will pretty much went and spent the entire day going and playing that one. So that one's also going to go and be huge on my uh, gaming menu for this week. In addition to those two titles, I'm also going to go and be putting some more time into some digital titles I went and picked up right after I got back from PAX. Uh, the Mega Man Legacy Collection, I'm looking forward to going and completing the rest of those. I've already gone through Mega Man 1 and 2. So I still have three, four, five, and six to go and finish up. And I'm also going to go and be putting more time into Shoot Shimmy because it's silly, it's zany, and it's fun. And I just want to go and, well, spend some more time with that. In addition, maybe I might even get some time to go and put some more time into some of these titles behind me. Uh, Gal Gun Double Piece, Toy Soldiers War Chest, and um, Two Heart, or rather Dungeon Traveler 2. But we'll go and see. So that's my gaming this men or my that's my gaming menu this week. It's primarily going to go and be consistent of portions of Project Mirai and Lovers in a Dangerous Space Time. So that being the case, I am going to ask you what your gaming menu is for this week. There's still at least one more big title going and coming out this week. On Friday, we're going and getting uh, Super Mario Maker from Nintendo. So is that going to go and factor into anybody's plans, or are you going to go and be playing on titles that have gone and to come out before? After all, Metal Gear Solid 5, uh, if you haven't gone and seen it, I'll go and put a quick little annotation to my re uh, review, or rather my unboxing of the Collector's Edition here. But at any rate, Metal Gear Solid 5 just came out last week. Are you finished with that one, or do you still have more time to go and put into that title? Or are there other games that you've been playing, or other games that you're looking forward to going and playing in the immediate future? Uh, please go and let me know in the comments below. I'd love to go and hear from you about that. Well, anyway, that's my gaming menu for this week, and we'll see you again next week.